Okay, everybody sit down. Space out. Space out. That's good. That's good. You ready, Sammy? Here you go, Sammy. Yeah, good hands, Sammy. Good hands. You ready? You ready, Niger? Yeah? You sure? Okay, here you go, buddy. Niger, you ready for it? All right. Now, people look at the chimps and they think, oh my gosh, I want to have one as a pet. I want to put a diaper on them. I want to carry them around. Biggest mistake you could ever make. An adult chimp has the strength of four adult human beings and can be very, very dangerous. Bubbles, give me a smile. Good smile, Bubs. Good smile. <laughs> Blizzard, Malcolm, come here, buddy. Come on. Hey, guys, how are you? Come here. Come on over here. Come here. Look what I have here. Carrots. Look at that. Oh, how good is that? Yes, it's dummy, right? Come here. Come here. You too. Come here, Malcolm. No, no, no. You don't can't hog everything. Mia, Zuri, come here. No, stick out the tongue. Stick out. Oh, look at that. Oh, how great is this? Oh, come here, Malcolm. Good boy. Come on, Zuri. I've worked with Goliath now for about 40 years. And he's one of the few animals that have been here for practically my entire career. Uh, with a lifespan of over 100 years, close to 150 years. He's probably going to be here long after I retire. But here he is in the shade. When he sees me, he's going to stand up. He, he knows me. Look, see, he sees me already. Look, I'm standing up. He says, oh, it's Ron. Hello, Ron. Come here, buddy. Come here, Goliath. Come here. Come here, Goliath. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, Goliath. And he's going to get next to me here. He knows I've got his apples. Come here, Goliath. Come here. Goliath is about 500 pounds. And he's going to open that mouth. Oh, 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 how good is that? So he loves the apples because the apples, again, have a natural sugar in them. Now, one of the things that I do with Goliath is if I put the apple away, I'll scratch his neck like this and he'll stand up. Oh, look how he stands up. Oh, oh, does that feel good? He does this because Galapagos tortoises, in the Galapagos Islands, there's a finch. And that finch eats ticks. So the tortoise instinctively stands perfectly still, extending his neck like this, so the finch goes around and eats all the ticks. It's a classic what we call symbiotic relationship, where the tortoise is getting rid of the parasites and the finch is getting food. So I scratch him like this. Not only does it feel good, but it's like, oh, I feel so good. And then another cool thing about them is that this is the face of E.T. If anybody's seen E.T., look at the face of the Galapagos tortoise as E.T. So now he's in his trance, 525 pounds, but I'll get him out of the trance again by bringing an apple up. It takes him a little while because he's so tranced right now. He's like, oh, that's good, Ron. So I get down here like this and I say, Goliath, look, Come here, I have an apple, smell it. Come out of the trance, buddy. We're done. All the parasites are gone. You don't have any ticks, you live at Zoo Miami. We take care of all that stuff, it's preventative medicine. Okay, here we go, oh, 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 how good is that? Okay, oh, here comes grandma around the other side. Oh, you're dropping apple juice all over my pants. I got more for you, no worries. We got you covered, buddy. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Look, oh, now he's in, now he's in the mood. Oh, oh look at that tongue come out. Oh, look at that apple juice. <laughs>